just responding to comments on my channel. By the way, now the videos probably will have thumbnails. They weren't before because YouTube and Google screwed that up for some reason. So anyway, here we go. Good video. I've never been a fan of Apple products for many different reasons. I'm a Samsung buyer, but damn, I cannot believe where they're taking the prices to. It would be interesting to know how much it really costs them to make one of those new Galaxy Samsung phones. First of all, the fold is garbage. It's an unnecessary feature. It doesn't do anything. And it still splits the screen. <laughs> um, my opinion only, obviously. Next thing is... <coughs> the real cost... Uh, in the past, I, I worked at a company that had to deal with this information. It was a loss leader. They were really, really expensive. The, the hovering range in price tag is around 100 to down to 50 bucks, depending on what you're getting. It really depends on what's going on. You can have a really good phone, and it'd be costing them a lot less than you might think. Others might cost a lot of money, and they're selling it with almost not a loss, but they don't sell them at a loss most of the time anymore. The Apple Mac fanboys claim Apple tech is more secure and less hackable than anything else online. I find people saying it's actually easiest to hack into. Which is it? Do you know from experience or what you've heard? Depending on what you mean by it, is it is... It is a crapshoot which one will be easiest to bust into. PCs are generally more attacked. But <coughs> specific services or functions within a, a web browser you're using, a plug-in effectively, or an app on the computer will be a bigger security breach than anything else. The funny thing is on Macs and PCs, both, if they're kept up to date and what's actually important, both of them are almost impossible to break into. The trouble is, is that with Microsoft Corporation, the only thing they really worry about is making sure their bottom line is filled in. And since Mac does that now, yes, the security is crap comparatively. So I think they're about even. I don't really see any difference anymore. And in some cases, the Macs are better. But <coughs> my rule is if a company goes out of its way to make it to where they harass people for repairing it, I won't do it. I won't even fix them anymore. I, I, I mean, it, it takes too much work to even deal with them sometimes based on the hardware, software, and, and other wear. It used to be they were the best thing on earth. But I don't get what happened. I mean, I haven't been paying attention. But anyway, let's move on. I refuse to use Apple. I should not have listened to a friend last year recommending me a MacBook. <coughs> Five months now, and can count on one hand the amount of times I've switched it on since then. It's garbage. User unfriendly. Funnily enough, my friend's biggest selling point to me was that the specific model of MacBook I bought was that it was amazingly fast boot-up times. From off, the ready from off to ready within 20 seconds. I bought one. It takes a minimum three minutes to boot up. My old cheapo Dell Windows laptop has half that time on boot-up, with a dodgy hard drive, too. Also, you can, you can optimize them to boot faster. And it's a solid state hard drive, so I don't get why this doesn't work quickly. I optimize my operating system to boot as fast as mechanically possible with one caveat. No caching to the drive. Mine takes a minute and a half max, and I'm not using any swap file. I mean, literally, I have the thing acting like it's running off of a uh, thumb drive. I make it to where it does the least amount of rewrites to the hard drive, so that it'll have the highest likelihood of data recovery if there is damage. But that's it. I don't really... I, I, I can't even. <coughs> Apple are the loss are the most secure software, he says. I look online and find lots of reports that hackers love Apple because it's so easy to corrupt or hack. Apple do not restrict what software or programs you can use with it. Bullshit, he says. I was concerned that Apple restrict what can and can't be used on their tech. I was told I was wrong and that pretty much everything you can get on Windows or Linux you can get on Mac. Then I discover most of the things I do want is not compatible with Mac at all. It's not the most things on the Mac you pay extra for the Windows gives you for free. And the other thing is, it is in fact trivial to get Macintosh machines to work with every other piece of software since they will run Windows. And all they'd have to do is release a real boot cramp uh, uh, driver kit that makes it to where it just works. They, they don't want to do that. Some of us have to write our own fucking drivers to get Macs to work. That shouldn't have to happen. F Apple, iPhone, Mac itself. That friend has been reminded that I will willfully put aside my concerns due to his confirmation, only to find my concerns were 100% correct. His assertions were because he prefers Mac and constantly 
and and for the consistent stuff he says he does on it. Then I find out he only uses his Mac for shopping on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically an expensive web browser box. Basically, I, mean, <laughs> I didn't know that line was up. Worst mistake I ever made. Anyone who want to buy a MacBook only used about four times. And just seriously, just put it up and sell it. Someone will some, put it up for whatever it's going for. It'll go. <laughs> make sure you include all the toys and tools and make sure it looks nice in the box. Um, I have to use my mental piece of paper that disappears by time I add in the 350 for an equation. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do something here. Now, this is actually a bunch of comments about the Mac. I'm going to restrict part of most of this to that. But that one and a few others are about other subjects. So I'm going to fuse them all together in one big line since I'm done with them. And uh, <coughs> that way it'll properly parse. Has anybody else noticed, um, I'm sure most of you have, that if you go ahead and try to cut and paste comments on YouTube, it will insert random blank characters that make it to where it'll interfere with you being able to look up things. It also mungs a lot of uh, web addresses like google.com or whatever, its own web pages. Um, <coughs> it's almost like it's infecting my copy of Notepad. I have to close it every once in a while to get rid of the garbage it built up. Next. Um, this is a nice thing someone's saying to me. You're a spirit animal today. Oh God, I thought I was the only one who talked like this. It's just purely insani insanity of it all. Because you're 100% right, percent right. You know, and God, nobody wants a problem to be fixed. It's not going to be costing money. Come on. It's built to be obsolete, obsolescence, and there's messing with the matrix. I can't stop laughing now, oh my God. Oh no, let's just send it over to Israel to have them decode it. You know, that's a better idea. No, that's about how this would roll if you don't call them out on it. And this is why <clears throat> I have an Android product, because I like the ability to take them apart and screw with them and reset them and throw them into the wall or whatever. Apple became stupider than, than stuck after Steve Jobs died. I agree. I think Steve would have been kind of upset. I mean, even he was kind of annoying about it, but with him it was pure, utter, reality distortion field level elitism. I don't know what the fuck this is. And oh, the, by the way, uh, Google and Google products, uh, it, it, it's going the same way now. Not for price tag, but for anti anti-consumerism stuff. Oh God, you have me laughing to death about those homemade computers. I had three or four of those at any given time. Parts and boxes. When you have your CD-ROM ri ripped pirated software with cracks for code activation. Oh my goodness. Memories, thank you. I thought that was standard operating procedure today. I li even though I own all my licensing, I never let the damn thing have an even keel. I will never let it run a non-pirated copy of how it runs the uh, the code for the operating system. Why? Because then it can't turn off its functionality. It can't say, oh, I'm unregistered. No, I'm going to take away your ability to deregister yourself. That way I don't have to deal with this. I've had a computer, I've had too many computers that had nothing wrong with them. Oh, I've detected a change in one byte. Yeah, a virus attacked it. Thanks for shutting off boot up. So by cracking the operating system, it becomes more reliable. You just have to make sure the crack works. And I've actually done that with, uh, <coughs> I'm not advising people do this for any other reason except to make sure the machine, make your computer obey. That's actually the motto for my company I ran. I make your computer obey. That's my job. I don't let it ever say no. I, I used to have an anti-HAL logo and everything. Uh, every piece of software I have is cracked. I tell them that over the phone. Yeah, I will crack the software. Because that way you can't and it can't say no. It's a piece of software. It's a picture editor or music editor. I don't want it arguing with me. This is why I've gone totally militant and loaded up nothing but uh, portable software for everything. Not one program on my computer, if I can help it, is going to ever be anything that's installed that ever asks for a fucking key code. I just can't do it anymore. I need the machine to behave itself. If it's doing anything behind my back, I remove it. Even some of the shareware and, and helpware programs that I was relying on, they changed the way they worked, and I was like, okay, you're gone. I'll look for an alternative. But yeah, I remember. I got paid to do that. Now they try to throw you in prison for it. 
Next. <clears throat> Single digits drills made those instantaneous. Wish derivatives and integrals were drilled at the same time. Never forget. Hashtag for Las Vegas. This is several comments from one person. I bunched together. Harvest Festival. Not a riot, but not but a celebration. Keep the lion on line. Like popping an oil well on Earth Day under a pro and pro environmental president. 2010 Stargate Universe launches with a military puzzle being solved. Squirrels was here, or squirrel was here. And then sounds le less crazy at one time speed. Good things to know so far from my new subscription, the more you know. And he was commenting on my uh, on a video I put up about some other subject. Now, I don't know what this person's about, but I just wanted to string those together because it, it flows nicely. I know that sounds silly. Anyway, uh, thank you for your comments, and I do appreciate you com commenting on some things, and um, I do appreciate the nice commentary. I, I don't get this very often. Almost nobody commented today saying something nasty to me, which is nice. Now we can all count down to the next Ophirian attack. But thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And um, that video I did about Apple products and, and stuff, I guess it was appreciated. I didn't even check out to see how many views it had. But thank you, and have a good day.